Hello, you're watching the Auto Advisor YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered if it's legal to remove a catalytic converter from your vehicle? Or maybe you're curious about the effects of such an action on your car's performance? Stick around as we dive into these intriguing questions. Welcome to the world of car mechanics, where every small tweak can lead to a massive change in performance. Today, we're focusing on one component that's often overlooked yet highly controversial, the catalytic converter. This is the part of your car that helps reduce harmful emissions. But what happens if you decide to remove it? Is it even legal to do so? And how will it affect your car's performance? These are questions that have sparked many a debate in the automotive world. And today, we're going to dig into them. We're going to dissect the mystery, the controversy, and the consequences of removing a catalytic converter from your vehicle. Let's delve into the legality of removing a catalytic converter and what it means for you. Now that we've discussed the importance and legality of catalytic converters, Let's talk about how one might go about removing it, hypothetically speaking. Remember, this is purely informational and not a recommendation. Always start with safety first. Disconnect the battery and use a hydraulic jack or a car ramp to lift the vehicle. Secure it with jack stands to ensure it doesn't fall while you're working. Next, you'll need to locate the catalytic converter. It's usually found in the exhaust system between the engine and the muffler. It's a metal canister that is slightly larger than the rest of the exhaust piping. Before you remove the catalytic converter, you'll need to remove the oxygen sensor. This is a small device that's screwed into the exhaust pipe, either in the catalytic converter itself or just before it. Use an oxygen sensor socket or a wrench to carefully unscrew it. Then loosen the bolts holding the catalytic converter in place. There will likely be two sets of bolts, one on each end of the converter. Once these bolts are removed, you should be able to slide the converter out of the exhaust system. Finally, if you're going this route, you'd install a straight pipe or a test pipe in place of the catalytic converter. This will connect the two ends of the exhaust system that were previously attached to the converter. But remember, this is purely informational and not a recommendation. Always consider the legal and environmental implications of such actions. In many places, it's illegal to remove a catalytic converter and you could face hefty fines. Plus, you'd be contributing to an environmental issue that we're all trying to combat. So think twice before you decide to remove your catalytic converter. So you've been pondering on the legality of removing a catalytic converter. Let's clear the air. When it comes to the legality of removing a catalytic converter, it's not a simple yes or no. The laws vary depending on where you are in the world. In the United States, for instance, it is strictly illegal to remove or tamper with your car's catalytic converter. This is enforced by the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, who can impose hefty fines. This law is in place to protect the environment, as the catalytic converter plays a key role in reducing harmful emissions from your vehicle. Across the pond in the United Kingdom, the rules are similar. The road vehicles, construction and use regulations stipulate that it's illegal to use a vehicle on the road if it was fitted with a catalytic converter at the point of manufacture and it has been removed. In Australia, the Australian Design Rules for Motor Vehicle Safety states that a catalytic converter once fitted cannot be removed. This is to comply with emission control regulations. So why do these laws exist? Catalytic converters are crucial in controlling and reducing the amount of harmful pollutants released into the atmosphere by your vehicle. They do this by converting these pollutants into less harmful substances before they leave your car's exhaust system. Remove the converter and you're not only increasing the level of harmful emissions, but you're also contributing to air pollution. This can have serious consequences for both our health and the environment so while you might be tempted to remove your catalytic converter for that extra bit of performance or that throaty exhaust note, it's important to consider the legal implications and the wider environmental impact. As we've seen in many places, removing a catalytic converter is illegal and can result in hefty fines. Not to mention, you would be contributing to an environmental problem that we are all trying to combat. 
Now that we've established the legal consequences, let's turn our attention to the effects on your vehicle. You've removed the catalytic converter, but what does this mean for your vehicle's performance? Let's break it down. The catalytic converter's main job is to reduce harmful emissions by initiating chemical reactions that transform pollutants into less harmful substances. But when you remove this component, it can have several effects on the vehicle's performance. Firstly, you might notice a slight increase in engine performance. Without the converter, the exhaust gases flow more freely, reducing back pressure, which can lead to a marginal increase in horsepower. However, modern vehicles are designed to work optimally with a catalytic converter, so the power gain might be negligible. Secondly, let's talk fuel efficiency. Some might argue that a less restricted exhaust flow could improve fuel efficiency, but it's not that simple. The vehicle's engine management system is calibrated to work with a catalytic converter, so removing it can disrupt the balance, potentially leading to poorer fuel economy. Now, on to emissions. Without a doubt, removing the catalytic converter will increase the vehicle's emissions, releasing more pollutants into the atmosphere. This is one of the main reasons why removing it is generally considered a bad idea and is illegal in many places. Finally, we can't ignore the elephant in the room, the check engine light. When you remove the catalytic converter, there's a good chance this pesky little light will start to glow. This is because the vehicle's oxygen sensors will detect a change in the exhaust gas composition, triggering the light. There are ways to prevent the light from coming on. But that's another story for another day. So there you have it. Removing the catalytic converter can have a mixed bag of effects on your vehicle's performance. From negligible power gains and potential changes in fuel efficiency to increased emissions and the likelihood of a glowing check engine light. Understanding the effects on your vehicle gives you the knowledge to make an informed decision. But what about the noise factor? A car without a catalytic converter definitely sounds different. But how different exactly? Let's dive into the world of sounds to understand the change in noise levels and sound quality when a catalytic converter is removed. Imagine you're hearing a symphony where each instrument plays a crucial role. In our automotive symphony, the catalytic converter is like the conductor, keeping the engine's roar in check and maintaining a certain harmony. By removing it, you're essentially taking away the conductor. The result? An increased engine noise that's louder, more raw, and less refined. In addition, the car generates a distinctive sound that's hard to miss. It's like hearing a lion's roar in the wild. It's primal, it's powerful, it's unfiltered. This sound can be exhilarating for some, but it's definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Armed with this knowledge, you're now equipped to make informed decisions about your vehicle's catalytic converter. We've covered a lot of ground today, from the legality to the effects of removing a catalytic converter. It's clear that this isn't a black and white issue. We've delved into the murky waters of legality, discovering that while it might be tempting to remove your catalytic converter, in many places it's actually illegal. We've also explored how taking out this component can impact your vehicle's performance. While some might argue that it increases power, the potential damage to the engine and the environment is something to consider. We even took a listen to what a car might sound like without a converter, and it's safe to say it's quite a unique sound. But the most important takeaway? Understanding these factors before making a decision. This isn't a choice to be made lightly, and it's always best to weigh all the pros and cons. Remember, your vehicle is an investment, and understanding its components is key to maintaining its value and performance. Until next time, drive safe and stay informed.